For anybody that's interested in joining a competitive field, this car is going to provide something that a lot of other classes haven't before, which is going as fast as we can for as little money as we can while still being as fun and as safe and as reliable as possible. NASA identified a segment of the market that was untapped. Uh, this untapped market was a closed cockpit prototype style race car that would be an affordable spec series. This would be an identically prepared car and it would allow a driver to shine instead of who spent the most money. This car really was designed with the intent that you could take it to the track yourself, you could work on it yourself, and you could race it yourself. There hasn't been anything before it that was designed around that intent. This NP01 that Alanis designed is, is just simply mind-blowing. I think one of the things that we bring to the table is a history of building uh, professional level race cars. So our attention to detail is a little different than some other kit cars that you might find in this market space. We certainly struggle to take some cost out of it without sacrificing our level of quality. But at the same time, we are very committed to uh, maintaining a level of quality that reflects our name. So through the program, Alana and NASA worked really closely together to try and identify some of the key points that would potentially deter someone from jumping into a car of this category. Maintenance costs are typically seen or foreseen as a lot more um, rigorous in a car like this. And really, we, we did a lot of work in the program itself to try and make sure that those things were taken care of as far as oversizing the brakes on the car. They're way oversized for a car of this weight. Again, because we don't want somebody to have to go through and redo the brake system all the time every weekend. We oversized most of the bearings in the car because we wanted the thing to be very user-friendly. This car was designed to run on the Toyo Proxus RR tire as a cost savings measure. A set of tires on this car will cost you $880, not $2,000 and those tires will typically last you around two to three weekends. One of the basic goals of this program was to keep things low cost, but also universal, so you don't have to carry a spare every part on the car to repair the car. One of the key points of that is the upright's universal, so it's one upright that fits on all four corners of the car. Same with the brakes and the hubs. So you could feasibly carry one upright, one hub, one wheel, one brake caliper and brake rotor, and it could be a spare for any corner of your car. I've never driven anything that develops the level of grip, either lateral or under braking, on a DOT tire that this car does. When they step into this car and they turn a, a few corners and, and, and really start to warm the tires up, they're really blown away by the amount of grip that the car makes because it's just simply unbelievable. This car, it's 1,450 pounds, is 185 horsepower. That's, that's a power weight ratio that's right along par with our super touring category. And you'll be running alongside like a Porsche or a, a Viper or a Vet. You just can't get that same driver feel from a production-based car that you can from a purpose-built race car. The mp one was really designed around the principles that it would be fast, fun, affordable, and safe. This is the fastest car for the money on the market right now. This car's super touring level performance for a fraction of the cost and really provides the end user with a better bang for buck as far as speed and reliability when you compare it to anything else on the market currently.